today I'm going to talk about primarily what our journey has been uh, within Ohio. And uh, based on best review of federal pricing transparency requirements, our situation has been very, very similar where we've opted to take on multiple methods because of our patient population. And everyone has different preferences and how they want to get information, whether it's through talking with someone, independently trying to get information, um, and receiving information in writing. So we follow all of those types of situations. On slide nine, as it relates to Ohio pricing transparency grades, I'm happy to say that Metro really would pass. Um, it's really been since 2006 that Ohio has been requested to share pricing, and we basically have done that on our web. We also are required by the Ohio Department of Health to provide our top 60 inpatient diagnoses, which are severity adjusted for DRG, and also our top 60 outpatient services based on volume. A Metro Health, Health has used the Ohio Hospital Association as a partner to submit information to ODH. The sad part is ODH has decided not to aggregately take this information and provide comparisons as they did beyond 2010. I think one of those reasons may have been because the Ohio hospitals are required to post those same services on their website. So they determined that patients can get that, other, that information in other ways, in addition to other hospitals being able to look at pricing. On slide 10, we basically move into um, what has occurred since 2014 with the Accountable Care Acts, which basically have caused major increases in deductibles for our patients. Although more people can be served with insurance through health care exchange, it's more difficult now for patients to actually afford their health care because the price sharing is much more expensive on their part based on the premiums that they select. And as you can see here, Ohio is ranked in the top five. And actually, I'm pleased to say they were literally only second to Texas a couple years ago. So we are managing deductibles a little bit better. When this started to occur, Metro decided to actually provide a survey to the community in Cuyahoga County and other um, areas of Ohio including our own patients. And what we really found is that as much as patients want to be informed, they really don't understand it enough to do the research. And this is showing you that out of a population of about 100 people responding, which was about 10% of the survey sent out, which is not unusual, 34% never researched it. Basically, almost 70% really were going into their services without understanding what that cost would be to them and what really their insurance cost would be. Only 19% actually were proactive in looking and seeking out estimates. And we're finding that since this survey, even more are seeking estimates, so that's a good thing. The more informed, the better the expectation is for the hospital and then also for the patient.